Hey guys, this is Christian Sawyer again. I'm going to be doing my presentation today on my central question that I chose for this cycle, which is what is my work as a learner and a teacher? The first question I came up with as an extension to this essential question was what motivates our students to leave their personal case in connection to um, Plato, in, in connection to the the essay by Plato that we read. What I really like was this quote that Morgan left on the real time, um, the graffiti board. I'll read it for you guys. She said, I believe that it is very important to students to know that you care about them and their well-being, or even just letting them know you care about their grades and learning. I enjoy when a teacher takes the time to get to know me and to remember the things that I tell them, I can be. It can be hard for those of us who do not remember things easily. Um, so essentially, it's just up to us to make the make the environment comfortable for them. I can remember the um, the most memorable teachers that I had were ones that I I knew that they cared about me and and not just how I was doing in school, but also my my well being, how I was doing from day to day. Second question I had was, what qualifies me to teach the students? Um, I didn't know the name on the graffiti board, but his username's Commissioner18. Uh, he said, an expertise or perfect proficiency in something is not the only or best qualifier to become a teacher, but the desire to teach and help others improve. And also that turned my thoughts to section 4 verse 3 of Doctrine and Covenants which says if you have desires to serve God you're called to the work um, you know really it's it's not all about what we know that qualifies us to teach others that's that's an important part but really it's just about wanting to do it that makes us good teachers that helps us to start to become good teachers this quote also that was posted on my questions on the graffiti board was um, by Ellen Pethley, I believe you say from Texas Tech, she said, if you don't love teaching, you ought to be doing something else. And the last question I had was, when has my journey out of my metaphorical cave ended? And referring again to, to Plato. First answer, never. Really, it's, it's something that we're always going through. It's eternal progression as part of the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's continuing to, to learn more and, I guess, progress in the gospel and, and gain more light and truth. Um, second answer to that is kind of similar in, in that a thought I got from one of, the, one of my peers on the graffiti board was that, that often we've got different caves, different things that we're learning about, you know, that, that we're navigating through, that we're learning about as we go on through life and after this life as well, um, that we're trying to learn about gain light in. And so really it's, it's not just one cave maybe that we're, that we're making our journey through, but, but multiple caves. So this is really what I've learned about this past cycle. I hope you guys learned more from, from what I shared and it was awesome to, to be able to learn this past two weeks. Thanks.